this night All the girls in the pale moonlight All the girls with a shopping bag All the girls with a washing group in Lachlan's Town decided to make a documentary film about community services in Lachlan's Town for the young people. Uh, I don't really do much. I work three nights a week and one night we're in here and then for the other three nights we just do nothing really, sit around. Tuesday I come to my youth group and then Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. There's nothing to do. I wouldn't just sit in my house, I go out to my mates. Sit at the back of the van. Um, my artists go over and sit with my friends or sit outside someone's house or on their or in my house because there's nothing to do for us. Or else I go to my youth group on a Tuesday and that's once a week. Around, sit around the estates, sit in each other's houses. Go out if you have money, which is like once a month or something. But like... No, there's nowhere to go. Nothing really. Walk around the street. Get pushed on by guards. Like moved on, like that's it. Sometimes the police comes and says move or the people that like live beside the lane. Because you just can't sit around your area without being moved. There's other people out there robbing cars and drink and all that shit and you're just sitting there doing nothing, you get moved on. Um, as a community guard, the residents contact me not on the night but during the daytime would write to my superintendent or would ring me up and I'd, they'd tell me that there are certain problems in certain areas and as a result of that then it'd be my job to go and patrol it and make sure that if there is groups just to move them on. There's like a lane we sit in and the, the people who live there come out and ask us to live or like they even came out and took our picture and all and were telling us that they were going to give it to the guys because we were sitting on their wall mm. and then they're like when you sit on the bridge down in the forest the guards tell you to go on and all. Usually they just move off to another spot um, from around working around here it's a revolving circle, they just move from one spot to the other and it's only a matter of going to the next spot to move them on again. Unfortunately, late at night there's nowhere for them to really go. We sit around and sit around the area and do you know what I mean? And the guard will come and tell us to move and all and then we give them grief and they give us grief and then it all just ends up being one big fight like so that's why every Tuesday we come over and we have things to do like do you know what I mean? The U wing uh, was built for the youth of the area. Uh, about eight, nine years ago. It's used for young people at the moment, but if no one's booked in, we will use it if there is a meeting. It is used by young people most of the time, but in the morning time, on off-peak times, it, it does be used by uh, other groups. The community rooms themselves, I'm not aware of any groups that they run for over 15s. Uh, there's no specific time given to the over 15s, but it's available for or as, as much as they want in the usual. Any amount of time that they wish, if they book, if they come to us. Well, there's a, the youth service, but it's not very... You're not allowed in when there's no one with you, so how is it a youth service? Because there has to be an adult there with you, like someone from the community rooms. Even if over here was offered to us more than one night, or even if there was more places like here or around, like other other things going on that we could do. There's good facilities here, but the only problem is um, they're not allowed access to them. The community rooms closes in the evening time, it's not open at the weekend. The community or the leisure centre um, is a great facility there, but it doesn't seem to be, the local youths don't seem to be able to access it. Community rooms it stretches from the side of the hall all the way down the corridor. The youth wing is for young people aged between kind of 8 to 25. 
Um, the young people would use, I would say, the rooms maybe 50% of the time. A lot of the time, if we would have two groups running at the same, you know, if I'd have a group and Aoife would have a group, we would find it hard to get in a room because there would be adult courses on in the room next to this, which is the entertainment room. We have often had to go over and use the kitchen instead of using a room that is technically for the youth, which there's adults in doing courses. Um, part of the new uh, management licence, we have to have two youth people on the board of management, which we do have. Do not think there is anyone between 15 and 20 on the board of management? No. Um, old, older than you. Um, they range over 25, um, under 35. Um, I think it would be very important that if young people did put in an application that they would be accepted. However, I, I do not know if they would be accepted by the board of management and I don't know if they'd be taken serious or not. Right, the committee would have no problem of any group starting their own committee of your own age group and coming to us with your suggestions. Like, you know, we're quite willing to help you all along and hopefully, you know, wherever you suggest we can help you out with. I mean, that's what the wing is for. It's for use all the time, not on certain nights of the week. It is not clear how we should talk with the community rooms. We're told to book a room, but we're not over 18. We're told to form a committee, but we have no room to meet in. There is no easy way for us to access facilities. Um, I know the community rooms have, bought ca or have put in cameras into the rooms and I understand for security that they are needed. However, as a youth worker, I find them very intrusive on the job that I do. And I also think for the young people that I work with, they don't like the idea of being watched. Even if someone isn't sitting in an office looking at them and they don't have access to them, it's just the idea that someone can actually be watching them. It doesn't create a very trustworthy atmosphere that we're trying to, we're trying to build up a relationship with young people and trying to get them to trust us. Um, at the moment there's not much easy to be within the area because it's all just housing estates. And when cameras are put in like that, it takes away from all the hard work that we're trying to do as youth workers. It makes it harder for us to engage the young people, to get them into the centre and to show them that they actually can come in and have fun and trust us. Um, inside the community centre, I don't see why there we should be, but for the outside the facilities, for a night time when it's closed up, they're there for security reasons that if the place is vandalised, you know, it's, it helps deter young fellas from coming in, spraying on the walls, smashing up the place or whatever, or coming into the playground and destroying The only cameras that can be seen are the entrance and the back cameras, that's the backyard for the caretakers, in the reception office, that's to make sure there's no kids messing about the back. Yeah, I don't know what's that all about, like, it's invading our privacy, you know. We're going, like, out anywhere and we need to get changed, like, they're going to see everything. No, I can guarantee you 100% there's no one viewing the cameras. Despite promises from the chairwoman, video footage of the room is shown at the main reception for everyone to see. How can the chairwoman expect to gain trust from the young people of Lachlan's town when these simple guarantees are not met? Yeah, I love coming up to the group. I always still find time, even though I work to come to my group, because I find it um, it's very good to come to. Like, you get all different things, like all different advantages and opportunities like that. You don't really get around this area, because no one really has faith in you, or no one really gives you a chance around the area. You just find you as troublemaker, so at least here on a Tuesday you come here and you can do different things and you get different certificates out of different things that you do. The one night we have we enjoy and we hope to get a second night. We are going to form a committee and hope to give a voice to the young people of Lachlanstown. Get your act together and stop having tea and listen to the young people that are around. I told you 
because we looked at the video, the committee looked at the video, and we were quite shocked about some of the things we did see on it. Now, I have taken notes, as you can see, but that's just to remind me, because I'm quite nervous even doing this again. Right, the doors being locked were for security reasons. I did explain that to you. Um, we agree with a lot of things you said. Yeah, there isn't enough going on here in the centre. We are trying to fix that up now. We don't have the staff to man the centre to be opened later than half past ten. We just haven't got the staff. We haven't got the staff to man the coffee dock outside either. There's just not enough. Even with the sea staff, we haven't got enough of them to do it. We are looking into it since the last time I spoke to you. Equipment, it is a bit sparse. We did get a new snooker table and stuff. Hopefully we'll get more. Um, there's items that we don't know where they are in the centre at the moment. We're looking into it. They are around. They will be back. Um, we feel as a committee we are all volunteers. I know some of you have said volunteer when you volunteer to do it. In the last few years we are the only people that will come back on this committee to run this centre. We have an AGM every year and it's the same people. Nobody comes to them. We just come back on and try. We are doing our best. We are trying to do better. I can, that's all I can really say on the issues. We are looking into it at the moment. On our new committee, there's three members now who have said they will actually just be on the committee for the youth. And we also have Colin Phillips, Phillips on board as well. But three of us are going to just monitor the youth here. And like I said before, there's nothing stopping you. Having a meet, committee meeting here, writing down what you want, what you hope to have here, and bring it back to us and letting us look at it and then we'll come back to you with it. You know, you don't have to be over 18 to have your own committee meeting here. You know, you can be any age. You just write it down. Once we have it in writing, we can look at it as a committee and hopefully we can sort it out. We have left the entertainment room open and free. It's not being booked, so you've this room, the entertainment room and the kitchen for your use. Yes, it's very sparse in the entertainment room. It is on the yellow walls, as someone said to me the other night. But there again, you can come back with plans and we can have a look at them. And I'm sure they can be done up for people to come in like this, even a bit better than this, and sit down and feel comfortable and feel at home. The coffee dock, we will try get a manned again, try reopen Chill Cafe. Um, I can't promise that. We can only say we're going to do the best we can. So... Just on behalf of the committee, we just want to tell you that we are here for the youth, otherwise we wouldn't be. We're not just running the centre, we're running it for everything. And there is an awful lot of things going on in the centre. Okay, not a lot for 17 to 18 year olds or 16 to 18 year olds, but an awful lot of kids use the centre, you know, on a daily basis, constantly. You know, so hopefully when you come back to us with your plans and what you'd like to see as soon as possible, and we will do the best that we can to give them to you. The cameras got taken out. And, and they should have stay up at night. And the rooms are all opened now and they're not booked. All girls in the Paris night Girls in the pale moonlight, all the girls with the shopping bags, all the girls with the washing rags, all the girls on the telephones, all the girls standing all alone, all the girls sitting on. 